it's on. It's on. Hi folks, this is BJ Rickard. Welcome to Stall 13. This is video number one. On the show's website, you'll notice that I talked about a horse named Spec, a gray horse, with a huge tumor that was keeping his eye closed and swollen. He was going blind. They surgically removed the tumor. It came back. You can read about this on the show's website under uh, the photo section. This is Spec. And we got a couple witnesses here. What we're going to do is we're going to clean this tumor. I've stopped putting the tumor dissolver, the abrasion stuff on there, and we're just going to put some salve on there to, to dry this out. And we're still going to have a little bit of raised area here. We have a little bit of a tumor. There's some hair, some dust and things. Um, it's the first week of December. It's about 34 degrees. There's a 12 mile an hour wind, so it's wind chill in the mid 20s at least. It's a little cool this morning. Everybody's waiting to be turned out. You can see right here, if they uh, on a close-up, where his skin is healing up nicely and the hair is going to start to grow back. All this caked up hair is from the rain. We had rain and mud here in Oklahoma, so we're going to clean him up just a little bit like this. And then, once we get all this junk off of him, get the little sleepers out of his eyes. Spec's a good guy here. Once we get him all clean, what we're going to do is we're going to apply a salve that will help uh, heal this up a little bit so that we got nice healthy skin like we do here. You can see how this is all smooth skin, natural looking. Uh, actually, you can barely feel a little bristle of hair showing up here. We're going to get this tumor smaller, and then once we have a smaller tumor, then we're going to start applying the salve again. Do me a favor, grab that salve and throw it to me. It's around the corner. So go ahead and get the salve. Okay. And I'm going to open this up. Basic stuff you can get this. Some veterinary supply houses um, sell it, and other places you can get from a veterinarian. Um, unfortunately, I can't mention the name of the stuff because I don't have the company's permission to do so. Everybody's worried about misusing their product. They should be happy that we are using the product. It'd be nice if I could open this up. So. Tumors, as you can find out a lot of information about gray horses, tumors are indicative of gray horses. They usually get them on the base of their tail. I've written about this on the show's website. And uh, this is just a cream looking salve. I wish I could tell you what the product was, but unfortunately, I don't like rules, but I have to follow some of the rules. One reason why I'm putting on a surgical glove. It's not because I'm worried about getting the stuff on my fingers. It's because I have a lot of horses to work today. I don't want this smell of this stuff to get in the way of me working on other horses. Now what we're going to do is gently, he's a little head shy. He's been through a lot with this. So he's going to move his head a lot. He's going to bob. What we're going to do is we're going to put some of this stuff on my finger. Very slowly, but you know that everything's okay. You want to make sure that when you apply anything around the eye, folks, that you really watch out. You want to actually see how I'm putting more down below, and I'm kind of working my way up towards the eye. You want to make sure that if he jerks, if he pulls his head to the side, which he could, we got a couple horses here that are watching. These are his pasture buddies. Notice how I just keep pushing it like I'm almost frosting a cupcake. Just very slowly getting all the infected area but staying away from the eye. Now, if it was raining or snowing, I may not put this on. I'm turning him out in a pasture. We don't want this to come into his eye, but we want a lot of it on there. Notice I covered all this, what I call virgin skin, where the hair is. We've got a nice covering of this salve all over the tumor area, also the affected area, but if you notice, See if you can really zoom in. If you notice, I stayed away from his eye. Gravity, the, the shape of this horse's head, the way this is, this will not affect him. If he perspires, well, he's not. It's cold. But if there is rain in the forecast or snow, it's going to go this way. It won't impair his vision at all. Notice his eye is wide open. He has good vision. He's paying attention to me that he can see. This is pretty basic, the way you doctor a horse's eye. The only difference is usually the container would be open and you wouldn't have a plastic bag. This is to show people what can happen, the do's and don'ts to working with horses. You know, whenever you watch a fishing show or a hunting show on television, 
you see them in the blind or you see them on the boat and they catch fish after fish after fish. Well, the problem is they don't catch fish after fish. All this time goes by. All the videos that you're going to see from stall 13 are going to be real. If I fall, if the horse breaks a lead rope and runs down the road, so be it. We're not going to edit anything. This is real horses, real information for you, just like the radio show. Now, when I turn him loose, i got to unlatch his stall door, and we've got a couple buddies here. Now, it just so happens that he is the boss of these three horses, so they'll probably move out of his way. What you want to do when you take, you don't want to take this halter off now because you want to keep control of this horse until you get these guys out of the way. He wants out because they want to be turned out in the pasture. So, get your door unlocked, push it back, then take the halter off the horse, stand back, and let them go. Now, out of curiosity, since I do the chores and feed the horses, they're going to think there's some feed. Well, this was video number one of stall 13. We're going to turn that machine off.